I'm Julia Allison for TimeOutNewYork.com. We are backstage at Miss 60. It's an 8 p.m. show. It's 7 right now, so everyone's getting ready. We're going to explore the unglamorous side of fashion. Oh, food. Yeah, I'm going to stay here. They do actually provide food backstage, which is probably something that most people don't know. Um, I don't know how many models actually eat it. I would literally go eat something right now. And you are the head of the production company that puts on the show. Yeah, production, yes. Okay, what, what does that mean? We do everything from finding a venue, which is pretty easy at the tent, uh, working with scenic designers to get this. So we're putting on right now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, casting models, picking people to do music, just basically running the show, whatever it takes to make this happen. How long does it take to put on something like this? This is a couple of months' work. How many people would you say work on a show like this? I would say hundreds. Why does Fashion Week run late? Well, I guess between running to so many shows, think of all the poor press people who have to attend them. They've got to run from venue to venue, and the models are doing the same, as well as many others that are sharing spaces. So it just backs up as one goes slower, they all slow down. What is the one element that you can absolutely not do without a show? The one person that you can't do the show without? Uh, right. That's right, security! <laughs> Otherwise, yeah. anything could happen. <laughs> Really People don't realize how much time and effort goes into these shows. You do everything from the dressers to the steamers to people ironing to people making sure that the style is perfect to people making sure that the shoes fit. Everything. It's it's an incredible process. So what they, they're called scoring. They're being scored so that there's like a rough edge yeah. on the bottom so that they're like a non slippery surface because originally the, they've never been worn so they're pretty slippery. The biggest disaster for a model would be to fall. We try not to let it happen, but it definitely happens. So they hire you for these last minute like holy shit alterations? She's literally in a position where that model gains an extra pound, loses an extra pound, clothes no longer fit, buttons snap, zippers break. Well I happen to be one of the headdressers. If you see the picture, you want to make sure when you, the model goes out that she looks like the picture that's on the board. And then the little all the little notation next to it is exactly specifically notated where the button goes, how, you know, how the shoes work, you know, all the ins and outs so of it. Do you think people more. realize that all this goes no. into Fashion Week? No. Yeah. This is the unglamorous part of it. Hour away from the show, and it's not even done yet. Fashion Week is all about doing things in the least amount of time possible with the most amount of stress.